in Bible class. We are so excited to learn together today about what it means to be upward and positioning ourselves to God. Today, we're going to be learning all about Samuel. Samuel is found in the Old Testament in 1 Samuel 3. We're going to learn about the story of God calling Samuel in the night and Eli helping him to understand what he is hearing. The main point today is when I am positioned upward to God, I can hear God's voice. Hey everybody, get ready to dance! You 
Great singing! Now take a seat and let's watch the video together. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi! Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel! Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel! Bye, Mom! And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli! As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. <sighs> but one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel! Huh? And again Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God, because he could hear the voice of God and he listened when God spoke to him. Pause. <laughs> <clears throat> hey friends, I am so impressed with everything you're learning in Bible class this summer. Can you turn to a friend and share a Bible verse that we've been working on? We have three Bible verse, that's six. <laughs> <laughs> we have three Bible verses that we are learning this summer. Here is one of them. Let's see if we can say it together. Jesus answered, I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Let's practice another Bible verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Okay, friends, here are the two takeaways that I want you to remember about this lesson on Samuel. The first takeaway is that Samuel positioned himself toward God by hearing the voice of God and listening to it. When God called Samuel, 
Samuel wasn't sure what it was. And eventually, Eli helped him and helped him understand that it was God's voice. The second takeaway from this lesson on Samuel is that Samuel's story is similar to ours. We can hear God's voice through the Holy Spirit. And when we can't hear or understand, we have others that we trust that will help us listen to God. Now, here's a video from one of our friends and Woodmont kids that relates to today's lesson. And then after the testimony, you can pray together. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye friends. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs>